Hi students. Today we are going to study about oscillator unit. Okay. So we will check what is an oscillator unit. What is the purpose of an oscillator unit? Okay. A microprocessor or a microcontroller is a digital device. Okay. So it works on digital data, digital input and it will provide digital outputs. Okay. So what is a digital input or digital output? These are all voltage levels, right? It will have a higher voltage level or lower voltage level. Okay, each voltage level will represent either 0 or 1. Okay, so these microprocessor and microcontrollers are digital devices that are made up of combinational circuit or sequential circuit okay so we already studied what is a combination circuit or a sequential circuit so combination circuit means what we will interconnect so many digital devices and we will form a circuit sequential circuit means so one one output will be given as the input to the next device so like that it will be working in a sequential manner okay so in microprocessor and microcontroller so we already studied everything is happening in a synchronous manner right so who is controlling this synchronous operation it is controlled by a clock signal okay all the operations in a microprocessor or a microcontroller are controlled by a clock signal okay so what is the purpose of the clock the clock will provide a square pulse okay so this square pulse is used for all the activities of the microprocessor and microcontroller okay so it utilizes the number of clock pulse for performing some operation okay so we also define the speed of a computer we also define the speed of a computer in terms of the clock speed okay so if the clock speed is 2 gigahertz we will say like uh, the processor is having 2 gigahertz speed okay so it is actually the speed of the clock signal that we are giving to the processor or controller okay so in some cases if you want to increase the speed of the processor we can do one operation that is called overclocking okay so we can increase the speed of this oscillator unit okay or the clock clock signal and we can increase the speed of operation okay we can increase the speed by some 10 percentage okay so that will improve the performance of the computer so if you are using the computer for some gaming application or some graphical application at that time we can use this overclocking okay so using this overclocking we can increase the speed of the computer or processor or a controller okay so this oscillator unit is responsible for generating a precise clock for the processor okay so it will generate a precise clock so what is this precise clock the time period of the clock must be precise okay so if there is some variation in the time period then it will collapse all the operations that is happening inside the processor okay so what are the basic operations that are happening inside a processor it is three operations one is fetching decoding and executing fetching decoding and executing okay so each of these operations will happen during on clock cycle so on clock cycle fetching will happen in the next clock cycle uh, decoding will happen and then the next clock cycle execution will happen so all the operation like this all the operation clock signals that are generated by this oscillator so if you look into the circuit of microcontroller and microprocessor you can see the difference okay so in microcontroller we have a oscillator unit 
okay and in the microprocessor we doesn't have an oscillator unit okay the oscillator unit is connected externally okay and the clock will be given to the microprocessor through an external pin okay so here you can see here we have an input so we have an oscillator circuit that is present externally and we have a clock signal that is generated by the oscillator unit and it is given directly to the microprocessor and this microprocessor will work based on the oscillator circuit generated clock input pulse okay so this is how it is working okay so if you look into the microcontroller we have a oscillator unit that is built in inside the microcontroller or a microcontroller have a built in oscillator unit okay so this oscillator unit is connected to a resonator circuit a resonator circuit that is consisting of a quartz crystal so this is a quartz crystal okay so this cross quartz crystal is connected to two capacitors and it is connected to the oscillator okay quartz crystal is a piezoelectric device okay it is a piezoelectric device that will generate a frequency a particular frequency signal that signal is given to the oscillator unit and based on that frequency this oscillator unit will generate the clock so this is how these two will work okay so in some microprocessors or controllers we have a inbuilt circuit inbuilt circuit for oscillation okay so in some devices there will not be any inbuilt circuit so we have to provide this circuit externally okay so both these things are having advantages and disadvantages okay so if you if the microcontroller is having an inbuilt circuit this overclocking may not be possible okay so this overclocking it may not support if it is having an internal oscillator circuit but if you are, if you are having an external oscillator unit we can adjust the parameters i can we can increase the frequency okay so in the case of processors we can do overclocking by adjusting the parameters in the oscillator unit so in certain processors or controllers the chip may not contain what a built in oscillator unit okay so in that case we have to generate the pulses externally and we have to supply it externally okay so a quartz crystal is an example for what an oscillator and it is used for generating the uh, generating the clock pulse okay so another one more thing is power consumption okay how this clock signal affect the power consumption okay so the total power consumption by the system okay the total embedded system is directly proportional to the clock frequency okay if the clock frequency is increased the power consumption will also increase okay another one more thing is we are increasing the clock speed right so at the same time we have to check whether the memory and other peripherals also support this clock frequency okay everything should work in synchronous with this clock frequency that is also very important okay and the accuracy of the program execution also depends on this clock signals how this accuracy is uh, depending on this clock signal because if the clock signal are having accurate time period then the fetching decoding and execution process everything will run smoothly okay if there is any variation in the time period of the clock signal so this process will vary 
the time required for this process will be the accuracy may not be to a particular level okay so how we are expressing this accuracy okay. the accuracy of the crystal oscillator is normally expressed in parts per million ppm that is the unit of expressing the accuracy of a oscillator unit in the microprocessor or a microcontroller okay so so we will summarize the things we discussed here okay so oscillator unit is the main part of a microprocessor so without the oscillator unit clocks will not be generated and the microprocessor will not get the sufficient clock okay so there are two types of oscillator uh, connections one is the oscillator unit will be present inside the microprocessor or microcontroller sometimes the oscillator unit we have to pro provide externally okay then the accuracy is expressed in terms of parts per million and the power consumption is high if the speed or the frequency is high okay so the major type of uh, uh, crystal that we are using for generation of this clock is quartz signal quartz crystal so thank you for listening to this lecture